Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a prime wardrobe. It's my second time shooting this video because I was having such camera problems that somehow this video completely disappeared. Luckily it was only the unboxing. But look what I have here with me. <laughs> it looks a little bit like a Lorax. Is that what it's called? Right now? Because he needs... He needs a woman. <laughs> His name is Buddy. Say hi, Buddy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna put him down, make him. He's not really that comfortable with being held up here, I don't think. Um, Buddy's mom is in the hospital. She's been in the hospital for five days, and the neighbors are trying to go over and let him out a couple times a day and feed him. There's a cat there to kind of keep him company too, but he is experiencing a um, separation anxiety. He's very close to his mama. The good news is he is not a stranger to us or this house or to Bella. Uh, his mama was a good friend of my mother's and as a result, she became a friend of mine. So he's, when he came in, he knew exactly where the dog door was, that sort of thing. So, um, where Minnie C was a complete stranger. I'd never met her parents before. So while he's upset, he's not that happy today because he just got to us today. Um, but I think he'll be okay. He knew where the dog door was. He and Bella were immediately nice to each other. Minnie's growling at him a bit, um, but I think it'll be okay. And he'll, he'll relax. It took Minnie two or three days. I mean, she just was freaked out. She wanted nothing to do with us. So, you know, we've, even with fosters, we worked with a few that were a little emotionally damaged or whatever in the case. He's not emotionally damaged. He's just freaked out. And no wonder his mama left five days ago and suddenly I come bring him over here. He doesn't know what's going on. So anyway, that's enough about that. But uh, I don't know how long I'll have him. It depends on if his mama has to go to rehab or if she can come home. And if she can come home, if she'll be able to take care of him. I think it's another instance of where he has to be walked. No, I think she has a finch yard, come to think of it. He, she has a finch yard. Um, uh, let's just get into the Amazon. Mmm, that smells good. I don't know what they put in it. The Amazon order. And like I said, it's um, not going to be a surprise because I had previously opened it. I haven't tried anything on yet, though. So, All right, so the first item is a pair of Cliffs shoes. And they look like this. They may look black to you but they're actually navy blue. And when I first opened them, I remember my response is, I like them, you know, they got a pretty little thing there and some little sparklies on the sides. But they reminded me of a pair that I bought a while ago from Clark's, quite a few years ago, and I think I gave away a year or two ago to Goodwill or whatever. Really nicely made and everything, very comfy, but heavy, and I thought they were kind of like that when I first took them out. So that's the first item. Um, the prices for Amazon are not the easiest to read, especially if you're working in front of bright lights. They're just a little bitty thing like, oh, can you even see that? A little bitty thing like that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, in the editing process, I will put the descriptions and the prices down below. Plus, this way I haven't seen the prices, so that'll kind of give me a... You know, I'll, I'll get to judge the item based more on what I think about it than the price. All right, so the first thing up is a pair of, it says Slim Station. What is the name? Yep, Slim Station. Uh, size 20W. I think they're capris. And they're white. Yeah, and they're a pretty stretchy fabric. They look like the legs of it. That was Minnie who did that. I had some empty boxes stacked up here, and she's nosing around in them. I didn't stop her, but they avalanched. She's not hurt. <laughs> um, they got two pockets in the back. They have this pocket here. They're pretty stretchy. They're the kind that are so white, they almost have a blue hue to them. Yeah, I don't know about these. I'm not crazy about this type of fabric and... In some ways, I mean, I've seen stuff like this that's cute, and then I've seen it where it looks older than I want to look. <laughs> so, we'll see. All right, so next is a pair of shorts, denim shorts, which I seem to wear a lot of because I don't seem to find a lot of shorts and things that aren't denim. And they are size 20, and they are a bandolino. Um, I don't 
know if they're long enough for me. They might be. Oh, they have a cute little thing there. And they look pretty loose-legged, I think. But um, they're not distressed, but they do have a little, like, fraying wear or whatever. Um, not fond about the color of them. It's not that I don't like medium wash or light wash or any of that, but this is those that have more of that cornflower blue color, which isn't my favorite, but then again, it's not near my face, so I don't know. We'll see. It says flawless stretch, so maybe. Um, yeah, if it's a wonderful fit, maybe I'll keep them. Uh, oh, here's the black t-shirt I've been waiting for. Lands in V-neck no pocket short sleeve but not too short sleeve and it looks like a full enough sleeve too look at that yes long enough yes can't wait to try this on can't believe that i've been uh, looking for just a plain, plain black t-shirt Bore. i'm boring i know all right so the next thing is by <clears throat> vintage american there's like three items by vintage american here i kind of like this one maybe Maybe not the most, maybe the second. It's cute. The only thing I, I'm not wild about this uh, handkerchief hem. I don't like that. I prefer plain hem. And then it has the embroidery, her lattice work down the front. Can you see that? I don't know if you can even see that. Hang on. Um, what else does it have? A busy pattern. So it's a lot going on. Yeah, this part right here might be the deal breaker. I don't know. We'll see. But it's pretty. I like that. If it had a, a different hemline, I would be more excited to try it on than I am. All right, this one I'm not excited to try on. This is the Vintage America again. This is a knit type of fabric, and it's just this kind of beige color I don't always look good in. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Maybe it's a little wider than I thought, but it has all this embroidery. It has this kind of sleeve which is kind of like a dolman flutter sleeve, I guess. I don't know. Oh, you know what it does have? And this is nice. It actually has a panel. And then the sleeve comes over that. So it doesn't have the big gap. Or gape, I guess is the better word. Um, yeah. So maybe it'll be nicer than I initially thought. Now, this is the one, the last one that I like the most, but it looks kind of small to me. It is a cotton material up here that is a you know, got design and stuff, but the bottom of it and the back of it are a knit. So hopefully that won't make it um, uh, <laughs> clingy. That's the word. The, it does not much of a sleeve. It just looks like a little cap sleeve. So this may not be flattering at all, but I do like it. It's to my taste. <laughs> all right, so the next item are some, it says that they are a sweat pant and legging combo crazy comfort and they call them relaxed fit joggers mock drawstring waistband with real pockets they are that denim i don't know how to describe it, it has a lot of white i don't know if it has white blue threads on top of white threads or if it's a white fabric that's sort of painted denim i don't know what i've seen it before and things it's not my favorite that way um I'm almost hesitant to take this out of this thing, you know, it's, I guess I could tape it back or something, but I'm almost hesitant to, if I think there's a pretty good chance I'm not going to like them. I hate to, you know, do that, but. So, those are my items. Let me see if I can get some of these tried on. The, the shirt should be easy enough. Be right back. Okay, so I like everything about this shirt, I think. Um, it could be a little longer, but that's okay. It's at an okay length. Uh, sometimes I like them just maybe like an inch longer so they completely cover the crotch of my pants in case I get that crotch droop. Sometimes like these shorts don't start out that way, but as I wear them, they stretch out and I get a little bit of that. But anyway, yeah, I definitely like this t-shirt. It has a lot of things I like about it. <laughs> I do prefer a, I, I call it a, a scallop, but I think they call it tulip. Um, you know, kind of hemline that goes up like that. But this is okay too. It's fine. And uh, it does have a nice v-neck, which is my preference, although a lower scoop is okay too. And the sleeves are plenty roomy and plenty long enough for short sleeves. They're not, you know, up here like 
some others. So I'm glad I waited. I've gotten a lot of black t-shirts that I sent back, which I really wanted a black t-shirt, so that was hard to do. But anyway, I like this one. So next top, much cuter on than right out of the box. I do kind of like it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, I have on a dark bra on purpose. So it's not black. It's uh, this dark olive green, which I got in another style box recently. Uh, so that way I can test and see how sheer something is. And I don't see it coming through in the camera. I know it didn't in my bathroom mirror, but sometimes the camera, because I have a light behind it, can pick it up. But yeah, so I think this is cute. Yeah, I think it's probably would be nice if it was just a little fuller at the bottom. But that is because I have a, you know, junk in the trunk, as they say. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if that looks bad back there. I'll see the playback, and that'll probably help determine if I decide to purchase this item. But, yeah, it's very comfy because it's a soft knit. Yeah, I like it. All right, next item. Another cute top. Uh, although, I don't know, with this hem and this pattern and this colorway. Which I better look at the colorway. Um... I don't know. It's a little bit Southwest country girl for me, I think. That's not really my vibe. I don't know what my vibe is, but it's, it's definitely not um, those two looks. I see some very cute country girl styles. You know, like I saw someone the other day with shorts and boots, lavender or pink boots and shorts and a, and a jacket with little hearts on it. A relative on Facebook. And she looked darling. She looked so cute. Well, first off, I'm too old for that outfit. But even if I wasn't, it's just not my vibe, even though I can respect that it's adorable in other people. Um, okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's cute, but I don't know if it's me. All right, so let's move on to the shorts. The shorts are big. I like the front tuck on this in the camera. I don't know what it looks like in real life, but in the camera it looks good. <laughs> um, what I was saying was that... Uh, the shorts are kind of big, as you can see here. However, they have the big gap in the back, which sometimes happens if you have a big butt. So if I were to take that in, I would probably do more than one thing. I don't think I'd just take the one. Then they wouldn't be. And they don't gape here, down in the crotch. And the legs are loose. I never have shorts with like, like, loose legs. I could probably go down a size on these, but you know what? They also are something that I could throw in the washing machine and dryer and not have to worry about are they going to shrink down where I can't wear them anymore. So I do like them. I don't like the color again. However, I like the build of them. <laughs> so yeah, I would probably wear them more like t-shirt or polo shirt or something like that. But yeah, I think they're cute. I do like them. One last look. And then we'll go to the last two clothing items, which is the capris and the top that I thought I was going to like the most. We'll see what, how strong, how accurate our first impressions. Okay, I knew this top would be cute. <laughs> I was just worried it wasn't going to fit. I think it does from the front. I'm not sure about the back. It, I don't feel it stretched over my behind, but... I don't know. It definitely cannot, just like the white one, it's not really white, you know, this one. Um, like that one, it can definitely not shrink up even, you know, a quarter, a half an inch probably. Yeah, because it's exactly the right fit. So, whoever the fit model was for this, probably my size, but I really like it. All right, the pants though, the capris. They're long capris, and I like that. They don't just stop right below the knee and have a yod spur look or whatever. And, you know, that little thing is kind of cute. But this fabric is just one I don't like. And I knew that it was going to show every lump and bump in my... In fact, it makes me look like I have lumps and bumps in my legs that I don't even have. But I will show them off for the rest of y'all. I have them pulled way up so that I don't have any crotch drop, but my belly button is... <laughs> right here. So actually they're not as high. I mean, they're over my belly button, but some things that you're way up almost at the bra line to avoid the crotch droop. So this is them. And like I say, they're a bit, they're not sheer is not the correct word, but they're definitely not, you know, 
something that's going to hide anything. So that's them. Actually, let's pull this out. And now you can see how I would actually wear them. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd wear them tucked. All right. So the only other item, and I've decided not to take it out of the package to try it on because this packaging, I just don't think I could ever get it back like that, um, are these joggery things. I'm looking at them, the picture here, the picture of the model. They look very straight legged. So yeah, I don't think so. I have a pair of something similar to that that are actual denim that I got in one of my very early trunk clubs. I don't find myself wearing them that much. Okay, I'm back. So let's go through the items. I don't want to take too prolong this too long because uh, these videos with this many items, there's eight items get kind of long. So first is the shoes. Maybe against my better judgment. <laughs> I'm going to give them a try. I don't know how much they are, but I don't think anything on here is really expensive. So too expensive. So I think I'm going to give these a try and keep these. All right, this top I think is going to be hanger worthy as long as when I look back in the edit, it doesn't look bad from the back. I couldn't really tell in my mirror in my bathroom. I can't see behind myself that well in the mirror in the bathroom, only like maybe this far down from my waist is all. So, but anyway, I really liked it. So it is definitely staying. The pants, no. I knew I wasn't gonna like them before I tried them on, although I did go in with an open mind, but I know this fabric. I, you hear it? I don't even know how to describe this fabric, but if you've ever had it, seen it, felt it, you'll know. Yeah, not for me, in the box. These, I think I told you already, they are going back. Um, I don't want any skinny leg kind of thing like that. So if I want joggers, I want them to be a little looser than that. So I'm not going to try them because I don't want to have to try to get them back together. Okay, so next is this top that I didn't think I would like. And again, unless there's something weird in the playback, if I see something terrible fit or something, uh, then I might change my mind. But otherwise, on the hanger. Yes. Shocking, isn't it? It is an off-white, but I guess it's not really beige because I didn't think it clashed with my skin that much. And sometimes those do. All right, so this one, which I think is cute, definitely. And I think it would look really good on a girl who wore cutoffs and boots. Um, but I don't think it's really me. It's not my, it's not my aesthetic and I don't look good in that aesthetic. <laughs> I've tried so many Southwestern things. I don't know why I don't like myself in them, but I don't. So it is going in the bag with the air box without further discussion. Um, next are the shorts. Most on the fence about these. I'm going to say I'm keeping them unless I, you know, find out they're $90 or something when I look at it. But I think I'll keep them. And I'm not going to take them in in the back. I thought about two little stitches here. I'm not going to take them in the back yet because um, I want to send them through the washer machine and dryer first. But I love that the legs are loose. I mean, I never get anything with loose legs. They are a little shorter than I like. However, I'm kind of getting used to that a little bit shorter. -ness. Did I just move the camera? I'm sorry. I'm getting a little violent. Last item, the t-shirt, which is all I've been waiting for. So definitely... This is going to go, well, it's not really going to go in a hanger because I don't hang my t-shirts. I roll them up and put them in a drawer, but yes. And because we're going somewhere tomorrow, I will probably be either wearing this tomorrow or <laughs> shortly thereafter. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'd like to invite you to join my channel, to subscribe to the channel. I think there's bells where you can follow people as well. Um, so I hope you'll do that. I hope you'll consider doing that. I'd love to have you. Thank you.